குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியாட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ் அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg2 plus 2 kurunji educational institution kaveti patti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg2 12th contact 9025895176 metric 6212th contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in continuation to the last class in this class we start with the uh, eighth problem so in our previous class you know we completed up to seven problems right so in this class we start with the eighth problem first uh, see that problem and then we'll go for solution see in this problem they have given one picture that is what uh, you know he is saying that the figure shows right the figure shows stopping potential vs stopping potential vs and frequency stopping potential vs and frequency new for two different metallic surfaces the figure shows stopping potential vs and frequency new for two different metallic surfaces a and b full stop the work function of a as compared to that of b the work function of a as compared to that of b right so to answer this question you know you just observe the picture observe the figure carefully and afterwards the terms what they have given for that we must know the meaning that is what the definition and concept for understanding you know here what is meant by stopping potential right suppose in a discharge tube right there are two electrodes okay one is emitter plate another one is collector plate means you know at a particular instant of time at a particular value at a particular negative potential of plate q right so what is meant by stopping potential means in a discharge tube there is emitter plate and collector plate at a, at certain instant of time right at certain instant of time for a particular value of negative potential of plate q no electron reach the collector plate right and the current will become zero so this value of negative potential is called this value of negative potential is called you know stopping potential right at the same time at the same time next uh, what is meant by work function what is meant by work function right so it is what uh, work function is nothing but the minimum energy the minimum energy of incident radiation required to eject the electrons minimum energy of incident radiation required to eject the electrons from metallic surface from metallic surface is defined as work function of that surface right so by knowing what is uh, uh, what is stopping potential and what is work function now we will try to understand the picture you know this is what the frequency and this is what the stopping potential right so this is the frequency and this is the stopping potential and this is like uh, curves belongs to a and b curves belongs to a and b okay so and uh, you know the value of threshold frequency the value of threshold frequency right that is generally we are uh, using that is what v not the value of threshold frequency v not right for a is less for a is less than b right hence what can we say phi a phi a is less than phi b so phi means here work function ma phi a is less than phi b right 
so you know very well phi is equal to h nu not e is equal to h nu but phi is equal to h nu not right so when uh, nu not is less the phi is less no so that what is the question you know the work function of a as compared to that of b is so what is the answer less right the work function of a is less as compared to that of b right you know this is what uh, that is uh, starting you know threshold frequency threshold frequency nu not for a this is and for b this is okay right so like that we have to study we have to study and we have to analyze the figure so after analyzing the figure you can answer see here the value of threshold frequency nu not for a is less than that for b hence phi a is less than phi b right next next question you know the phenomenon inverts to photoelectric effect the phenomenon inverts to photoelectric effect okay right so what is uh, what is the phenomenon of photoelectric effect generally you know when uh, a metallic surface is exposed to the invisible form of energy that is what electromagnetic radiation or otherwise light right light then what will happen so anyhow here we don't bother about that and but the main thing is when a metallic surface is going to exposed to the energy exposed to the energy basically here in the form of radiation because we are in the chapter of dual nature of light in the form of radiation and that is what you can say electromagnetic radiation electromagnetic radiation okay so then automatically emission of electrons takes place right there are so many factors you know what is the energy of the incident radiation and what is the frequency of the incident radiation and what is the wavelength of incident radiation and what is the nature of the metal you know what is the temperature right so so many things are there but generally i am saying i am saying i am saying the definition i am saying the statement right so when a metallic surface is exposed to the radiation is exposed to the energy in the form of radiation then emission of electrons takes place from a metallic surface so this is what uh, we had uh, in case of photoelectric effect but uh, he is asking inverse you know almost like the reverse situation what will happen right so that is uh, generally more obviously production of x rays in our lower classes we also studied production of x rays right so this production of x rays the phenomena of pro pro the phenomena of producing x rays is uh, reverse or inverse phenomena to the photoelectric effect okay right next uh, see here 10th question an ultraviolet light and ultraviolet light of wavelength 2000 angstrom unit you know one angstrom unit is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 meters right an ultraviolet of uh, 2000 angstrom unit okay wavelength an ultraviolet uv light of wavelength right irradiates irradiates a photocell a photocell made of molybdenum metal molybdenum metal right if the stopping potential is minus 1.5 volt if the stopping potential is minus 1.5 volt what is the work function of the metal what is the work function of the metal okay that is what and observe carefully here he is given right he is giving he has given an ultraviolet light of wavelength 2000 angstrom unit okay right if you want you can convert into meters that is 2000 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters irradiates a photocell made of molybdenum metal right full stop if the stopping potential is 1.5 volt what is the work function of the metal okay, right see ma first see what what we have to find we have to find the work function we have to find the work function you know you just keep in mind what i am saying to find work function there are different formulas you know the basic formula as simple as such if you know the threshold frequency you can find out because h is a planck's constant 
But here problem is not like that because in the problem they have given frequency of incident radiation, not the threshold frequency, right? That's why you have to go for another formula. That is what you know, phi naught is equal to h nu minus E V S. That is what photoelectric equation. That is E is equal to phi naught plus K E maximum. That formula we are using here. From that, if you write a phi naught as a subject, this is the relation. You know that is what h nu minus E V S. Okay, right. H is okay and E is also okay. 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90 and stopping potential given as 1.5. Right, that minus indicates that the negativity of potential. Right, and uh, that is what uh, okay. Uh, we want the new value. We want new value, and you know they have given wavelength. You know the formula. New is equal to C by lambda. New is equal to C by lambda. So C is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by lambda is 2000 into 10 to the power of minus 10. So we have to convert angstrom unit into meter because in the numerator we took it as right. We took this one as that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8. That is what meter per second. Meter per second. Okay. And uh, this one that is what uh, whatever they have given that you have to convert into meters so that it is 2000 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters so meter per second here meter will get cancelled then generally cycles per second is h so 1.5 into 10 to the power of 15 will come 1.5 into 10 to the power of 15 h okay right next uh, the work function of the metal is the work function of the metal is phi not is equal to H nu minus E V S that is equal to 6.6 into 10 to the power of minus 34 into 1.5 into 10 to the power of 15 minus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 into 1.5 that is equal to 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. This is the work function. What he is asking? 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Okay, 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Right. Next question. Eleventh question. See here. When radiation of wavelength, when radiation of wavelength lambda is incident on a metallic surface, on a metallic surface, the stopping potential is 4.8 volt. Full stop. If the same surface is illuminated, if the same surface is illuminated with radiation of double the wavelength, then the stopping potential becomes 1.6 volt. Full stop. Then the threshold wavelength for the surface is. Then the threshold wavelength for the surface is. Okay. Right. So what is the matter here? What is the matter here, ma? So you know wavelength and stopping potential, right? So he is asking to he is asking to find the relation between wavelength and stopping potential. When the wavelength is lambda for incident light on a metallic surface, the stopping potential is 4.8 volt. Okay, right. Next, uh, if the same surface is illuminated with the radiation of double the wavelength. Then the stopping potential becomes 1.6 volt, 1.6 volt. Okay, right. Full stop. Then the threshold wavelength for the surface is. Then the threshold wavelength for the surface is. Okay. So here what I am saying is, we know the relation. That is what uh, you can write. H C by E is equal to 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught. 1 by lambda. Minus 1 by lambda naught is equal to this is what uh, V naught, which is okay V s whatever it may be, right? So V s and V naught both we are using to represent stopping potential, okay? So it is what uh, V naught is equal H c by E into 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught is equal to 4.8 in one case. In the second case, H c by E into 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught. H C by E into 
1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught is equal to 1.6. Okay, it is like equation 2. You know, what he is asking, in the second case, what is the threshold wavelength, right? In the second case, what is the threshold wavelength, right? Uh, in first case, they have given it as uh, wavelength lambda, wavelength lambda and it is the stopping potential. And in the second case also, it is what, uh, with the radiation, double the wavelength. With the radiation, double the wavelength here, you know, with the radiation, double the wavelength. See here, ma. So, from these two equations, it is what equation 1 and it is what equation 2. By solving these two equations, we will find the relation between that is what uh, threshold wavelength and the wavelength of incident light. Wavelength of incident light that is lambda naught is equal to 4 lambda. Lambda naught is equal to 4 lambda, right? You just divide 1 divided by 2, right? So, more than that nothing. So, you just divide 1 divided by 2, then you will get it as lambda naught is equal to 4 lambda, okay? So, in this problem, that is what uh, problem number 7, he is asking what is the threshold wavelength for the surface is, right? You know very well in our neat problems, right? So, based on the given options, we have to move, right? So, here, based on the given options, we have to find the relation between threshold wavelength and uh, wavelength of light, uh, wavelength of incident light, okay? So that it will be lambda naught is equal to 4 lambda, lambda naught is equal to 4 lambda, okay? Right. So next problem, see here. That is problem number 12. See here. Two photons of energies, two photons of energies twice and thrice the work function of a metal surface. Two protons of energies twice and thrice, twice and thrice the work function of a metal surface. Full stop. Then the ratio of maximum velocities of the photoelectrons, then the ratio of maximum velocities of the photoelectrons emitted emitted in the two cases respectively. So, they have given, they have given energy of photons in terms of work function and he is asking ratio of maximum velocities, ratio of maximum velocities means, you know, V maximum 1 by V maximum 2, okay, right. And you see that, that given so, uh, based on the theory what they have given, we can write it as E1 is equal to, right? The formula is, okay, right. First you write the given values. E1 is equal to 2 phi naught and E2 is equal to, right? E1 is equal to 2 phi naught, E2 is equal to 3 phi naught, 3 phi naught because one is twice, another one is thrice, okay? E1 is equal to 2 phi naught, E2 is equal to 3 phi naught. Afterwards, according to Einstein's photoelectric equation, that is E is equal to phi naught plus k maximum. E is equal to phi naught plus k maximum, right? So, from that you can write it as E1 is equal to phi naught plus k maximum 1 and uh, E2 is equal to phi naught plus k maximum 2. So, it is like equation 1 and it is like equation 2, right? From 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, we can write like this one. This is what uh, mathematical lemma. It is like 3, it is like 4, right? So, k maximum 1 is equal to E1 minus phi naught, that is equation 3. And uh, uh, k maximum 2 is equal to E2 minus phi naught, that is equation 4 right 3 by 4 gives 3 by 4 gives right so we are dividing these two we are getting this one and substitute the values of e1 and e2 e1 is 2 phi naught and e2 is 3 phi naught right then finally the answer will be here it will be phi naught it will be 2 phi naught so phi naught phi naught will get uh, and finally we are getting 
वन बै टू सो के मैक्सीम वन बै के मैक्सीम टू इज ईक्वल टू वन बै टू एंड यू नो द फार्मुला के इज ईक्वल टू हाफ एम वि स्क्वायर सो दिस हाफ एम वि मैक्सीम स्क्वायर हाफ एम वि मैक्सीम वन स्क्वायर एंड इट ईज हाफ एम वि मैक्सीम टू स्क्वायर then uh, it is 1 by 2 means if you want uh, this v maximum 1 by v maximum 2 it will be 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 okay right next uh, see the 30th problem in a photoelectric experiment if both the intensity and frequency of the incident lights are doubled in a photoelectric experiment if both the intensity and frequency of the incident light are doubled then the saturation then the saturation photoelectric current then the saturation photoelectric current is so what what will happen we have to say so it is also doubled it is also doubled so the reason is photoelectric current is depending upon the intensity photoelectric current is independent of the frequency anyhow in this problem both intensity and frequency are doubled so it is independent of frequency okay but uh, intensity is doubled no that's why the saturation photoelectric current becomes doubled next uh, 14th the problem here last problem in this class see here the photoelectric threshold frequency of a metal is nu so as simple as such it is a threshold frequency right when light of frequency 4 nu is incident when light of frequency 4 nu is incident on the metal the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photo electron is the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted photo electron is dash okay right and uh, you know what is photoelectric equation that is what e is equal to phi not plus ke maximum e is equal to phi not plus ke maximum so here we want to write ke that is what uh, ke maximum as subject that is equal to h nu minus phi not okay ke maximum is equal to h nu minus phi not so you can say that the maximum kinetic energy the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electron is given by k maximum is equal to h nu minus phi not okay right and uh, according to the question you know nu is equal to 4 nu see here ma when light of frequency 4 nu is incident okay minus phi not is equal to actually h nu not but uh, according to the problem nu not is nu right so uh, by substituting these things according to the given information finally we'll get it finally we'll get it as 3h nu k maximum is equal to 3h nu okay that's it so in this class we discussed uh, from problem number 8 to problem number 14 right and uh, every problem we have to think deeply so that the knowledge what we are going to add helps us uh, when we are going to solve remaining problems when we are going to solve remaining problems okay right so in our next class we'll continue from 15th problem onwards thank you